forward to example three, we have a 16 by 20 centimeter sheet of cardboard and we're going to cut squares out of the corners, uh, equal size squares of course, and fold up the four sides and make an open top box, a box that has a bottom four sides but no top. And we're told that the volume of this box is supposed to be 384 cubic centimeters. We're asked to find its possible dimensions. So first of all, the part that we're going to cut out we'll call an x by x square, so we could label each of these the same. Now if we do that, we need to find dimensions for the base, the bottom, of this rectangle, this width here and this length here. Now since each of these dimensions, that's an x, this is an x, this is an x, this would be an x down here, we could call the distance across here, it's the whole 16 minus an x and another x. So we could call that 16 minus 2x. And the length of the base, this dimension right here, would be the full 20 minus an x and another x. So we could call that dimension 20 minus 2x. And so now we actually have algebraic expressions for the height of the box. See, it's x high. When we fold up the side, it'll be x high. And these two dimensions are the uh, width and the length, or the length and the width. It doesn't matter what order you write them. And so, since we have algebraic expressions for the length, width, and height of this box, we could write an expression for, or a formula for, the volume of the box. And remember, volume of a rectangular prism or a box is length times width times height. So here's the product of the three dimensions. That's what we would probably call the height. And the 16 minus 2x, the width, and the 20 minus 2x, the length. So uh, length times width times height. Now we're going to multiply these together, expand out this uh, product. And so multiplying the x into the 16 minus 2x, we'll get 16x minus 2x squared. And now we're going to multiply that by the 20 minus 2x. And I'm not going to show all the steps here, but when we simplify this, uh, for example, uh, negative 2x squared times negative 2x is 4x cubed. And uh, we'll have a couple of uh, different x squared terms. There's This would be a minus 40x squared, and this would be a minus 32x squared, which of course adds to negative 72x squared. And on the end, the 20 times the 16x is 320x. So that's actually a formula for the volume of the box depending upon what x is. And we're told that that's supposed to equal, the volume is supposed to equal 384. And so we'll set this uh, formula equal to 384. And now we have a polynomial equation to solve to find x, what x could be. Now, I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to bring the 384 over to the left side or subtract 384 from both, from both sides. I'm going to get rid of the v here. This is my equation from 4x cubed over to uh, it'll be minus 384 equals 0 on the on the right side of it. Now also after I do that arranging notice that all the terms divide evenly by 4. So dividing 4x cubed by 4 I get x cubed, dividing negative 72x squared by 4 I get negative 18x squared, 320x divided by 4 is 80x and 384 of course it will be negative on the left divided by 4 is minus 96. And so that makes my equation a little bit simpler to solve because the coefficients are all smaller. Now. I'm going to solve this by using synthetic division. If you want to use long division, you certainly could. Uh, we're going to get rid of the diagram here. And the coefficients would be 1, negative 18, 80, and negative 96. So there's my coefficients in my equation I'm trying to solve. And of course, to solve this, we would try uh, factors of negative 96. Now, there's a lot of factors of negative 96. So you might need a little trial and error to find one that works. There's more than one that does work. And one that does work is 2. 2 certainly divides evenly into negative 96. Uh, you could find those numbers by graphing this and looking for the x-intercepts. And of course, it does go through a 2. And so we bring the 1 down. Uh, 1 times 2 is, of course, 2. So we put a 2 here below the negative 18. Negative 18 and 2 add to negative 16. And negative 16 times 2 is negative 32. Added to the 80 is 48. And 48 multiplied by 2 is positive 96, which of course adds to 0 with a negative 96. So we got a 0 remainder, and so um, x minus 2 is certainly a factor. So 
Now, the other factor is x squared minus 16x plus 48. And you could factor that. You could also use and say division again. And a number that actually works here is 4. And so we bring the 1 down. 1 times 4 is 4, so put that below the negative 16. Adding negative 16 and 4, we get negative 12. And negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. Added to the 48 gives a remainder of 0. Now you could have also factored x squared minus 16x plus 48. Uh, the numbers aren't that big uh, in order to factor that. That would have worked as well. So what we have now, though, is since 4 worked, x minus 4 is a factor. And uh, this would be 1x minus 12, or x minus 12 is the other factor. And so we have our, our uh, cubic equation completely factored. Now, if we set each of these to 0, we'll get a solution for x. So if we set x minus 2 to 0, we'll get 2. And so that's what we would probably call the height. x was the height in that diagram. Now, these other two expressions were the uh, width and the length of the rectangle. So if I put 2 in place of x here and here, I'll find the other two dimensions, which is what we're asked to find. Find its possible dimensions. And so putting 2 here, 16 minus 2 times 2 is 12. And putting 2 here as well, 20 minus 2 times 2 is 16. So possible dimensions are, it could be a 2 by 12 by 16 rectangular prism, which 2 times 12 times 16 is 384. If we take the x minus 4 factor and set x minus 4 to 0, we'll get 4. And so substituting 4 in the same two formulas here, we'll get 8 centimeters for the width, and 20 minus 2 times 4 is 12, so 12 could be a possible length of the box. So possible dimensions are also 4 by 8 by 12, and 4 times 8 times 12 is also 384 vo for a volume. Now there's a problem with the last factor, and if you think of the box, uh, if x were to equal 12, uh, the box was only 16 made of a 16 by 20 sheet of paper, so you couldn't cut out squares that are 12 by 12, because those squares would be overlapping, and it wouldn't be possible to do this. And you see, if I were to uh, take the 12, and put it in place of x here, 16 minus 2 times 12 is less than 0. You actually do get three numbers from that solution that do still multiply to your 384, but two of the dimensions are actually negative numbers, which isn't a real solution here. Uh, it's kind of like the box is turned inside out. So the only solutions are actually, it could be a 2 by 12 by 16 box, or a 4 by 8 by 12 box. So there's no solution there at all.